There is a popular marketing tactic out there called the launch strategy, particularly the multi-month multi launch strategy, which is um, first you have an idea to sell some kind of program or product. And then month one, you share a bunch of free content that is actually designed to build the audience's desire for your product in a very subtle way. You know, and you can tell I'm not a fan of the strategy. Month two, you then invite them into some kind of Facebook group or some other community and, and build community there and build more desire and context for your product. And then month three, you finally get those people onto a high converting webinar and get them to buy your thing. Well, I, I think that that is a, it's really a shame that this is happening. Uh, unfortunately, it does make people money because um, these marketers know how to manipulate our emotions and get us to a certain state to then buy. You know, month three, they might like open a shopping cart for, for a few days saying, oh, now's the time to get your early bird price. And then they close it off for a few days. Say, oh, it's too late. You were too late. And then they open it up again for a few days. Oh, we're going to open up again because of this demand. But that was all. And then close it again. Maybe open and close it one more time. That was all planned out, all scripted out. It's very... Um, Excuse me for the noise there. Uh, noise pollution and air pollution at the same time. Um, this is this is very disingenuous on the part of the marketer. Unfortunately, they were taught that way. Maybe they don't know there's a better way, but there is a better way. And the better way is to be upfront and transparent with your audience. First, to understand them so that you understand what their buying behavior is so that you can sell them something that is more... Um, uh, acceptable to them first they're very open to it when you give content away give it away for free don't be like having some ulterior motive that oh I hope this piece of content leads to the next piece of content and there's buddy playing with his with his girlfriend Zora <laughs> hi Zora um, you know d d let, let let what you do be upfront be transparent be pure in the motives if you're gonna sell something sell something and but let it be something that the audience is more accustomed to buying so that they don't feel like it's inappropriate or wow what a high price thing that you have to then warm them up to it okay just sell something and if they buy a low price thing from you great then maybe later they'll go on your website or maybe you invite them to something that's a bit higher price, but it's not some kind of plan that, all right, this person is going to be in this part of the funnel and then that part of the funnel. It's just kind of a more natural thing. You see them using something that you, they bought from you. They like it. They love it. Then it makes sense to say, you know what? I think they need something deeper. Well, let's make that in invitation to them. They, whether they buy or not, it's up to them. You see, so, so be... Um, be real in your motives to your audience rather than rather than having some ulterior motives and waiting them to, to manipulating them through a funnel. So I hope this is food for thought. And um, until the next video, I'm George Cow. I'm always open to your comments. Even if it's in disagreement with me, you're perfectly open to sharing what your opinion is. Uh, and I'm always open to your questions as well. So take care and be well and do authentic marketing.